Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Today's word is little strange. Why? Because I couldn't find this word in any of my dictionaries. Yes, you heard me right. None of my dictionaries. And still I decided to make a video on this word. It's an 18th century word, probably obsolete, but it's my tiny effort to revive it in modern times because most of you would be able to relate to this word how many of you have seen people around who show that they are working very hard but in reality they don't work at all they just pretend to be working a lot but when it comes to real contribution, they don't help you in completion of your task. They don't help you with your presentations. They don't help you in reaching your goal. They do not contribute, but they would show that they are as busy as bees. So, the 30th word of a Word A Day Challenge 2021 is Fudgel. Fudgel. It's an 18th century word, historical word, and I could not find its origin. I couldn't find any root word related to fudgel. Fudgel is a verb. So fudgel basically means pretend to be doing a lot of work when in reality you're not working at all. So that's fudgel. Since I couldn't find much about this word on the internet, I would like to use this word even for my students, for my children, who pretend to be studying very hard, but in reality, they are just not studying at all. So I can say that stop fudgling and complete your assignment in five minutes. Your boss can fire someone who fudges around at the desk doesn't work at all. You can tell your colleague, stop fudgling, I really need your help. Please contribute, please pay attention. Or you can tell your employee that I'm not paying you to fudgle all day here. It's a perfect word for Fridays. Weekend's coming up and you're not in a mood to work. So you fudgle. Well, I'm going to use this word quite a lot now because it's going to save my breath. Instead of saying, don't pretend to be working when you're not working at all, I can just say, don't fudgel or stop fudgling. Fudgel is not fudge. Do not confuse between them. I just got an idea. Why don't I make a tongue twister? Fudgel, fudge. Give me a moment. Yep, I'm back. As you know, I'm making these videos every day. Uh, these are not pre-recorded videos, so it's a word a day challenge for me as well. It's something different that I'm spending about seven to eight hours on these videos. Yes, I'm taking that long, <laughs> yes. All right, so I just worked on this uh, tongue twister. I'm very excited and nervous as well. I don't know why this is the first time. Um, trying to make a tongue twister for all of you, for all of you who love words. So, for this tongue twister, I have picked up fudgel, fudgel as a proper noun, as a name of a person. And fudge, as we know, is a candy made of um, a sugar, milk, chocolates and lots of nuts. And I have picked up another word and that is fridge. So, fudgel, Fudge, fridge. I have taken the plural form of fudge, that is fudges. So, fudgel, fudges, fridge. So, the tongue twister goes like this. Fudgel's fridge has fudgel's fudges. 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 Okay, uh, let me try it out. 
You try it out at home and let me know how long could you go on with the tongue twister. I hope you like it. I'm sure my kids are going to like it. My students are going to love it. So keep learning. Stay blessed. Stay safe.